Greetings, my name is Carla Sewer and this is my video for project number two. We're going to be looking at the challenges, budget cuts, leadership management style, horizon technologies, cross-departmental collaboration, collaboration with campus, promotion on campus and within the community, promotion of open educational resources. So sit back, enjoy. For this project, I interviewed Amanda Zerang and Pamela Ward. Texas Women's University is where I conducted my interviews for this project number two. Yes, big round of applause for Texas Women's University because they have taught me well. For these interviews, what I did was I asked permission for the interviews to be audio taped. So I audio taped the interviews and then I transcribed them and ran them through the software called Envivo and looked for themes. What I found was quite interesting. Stay tuned. One of the themes that I found in the interviews was a consistency of passion and dedication to the work at hand. I also found that there are challenges that both of the individuals face and their the challenges faced by the interviewees were both unique to their position. For example, one of the challenges that is faced by Amanda is the challenge of reaching out to faculty and getting faculty interested in the OER, Open Educational Resources. One of the major challenges faced by Pamela in her job is the one person per job duty. For example, there is only one cataloger, and that becomes a challenge when faced with cataloging information, books, resources, etc. When it comes to budget cuts, nobody likes them, but it's something that each department in a Texas Women's University library has to do. When it comes to budget cuts for Amanda, she looks at it from a top-down approach whereas Pamela looks at it in terms of the impact of the allocation model that's used to allocate and to get databases, etc. When we're looking at leadership and management style, for Amanda's department, she's looking at building trust, going both ways with that trust, and collaboration with other groups and departments. When we're looking at Pamela's department, it's more of communication, which is sort of like collaboration, but it's also education and advocacy, advocating for her employees. And with her open door policy, that is her leadership and management style. Let's now take a turn and look at the horizon technologies. What is up and coming for these departments in the next two to five years? According to Amanda, in the next two to five years, she's looking at the automation processes in terms of technologies, specifically digitization and institutional repositories. Whereas Pamela is looking more at the negotiations with vendors and getting the best contracts possible for the allocation of databases and journals. When it comes to cross-departmental collaboration at the library, Texas Women's University Black Huey Library looks at this in terms of communication. With Amanda's department and with Pamela's department, it's a lot of the same things. However, there are some differences in terms of cross-departmental collaboration. Pamela's department looks at this in the behind the scenes, mostly in-house. Now let's look at collaboration on campus and promotion on campus and within the community. For these two departments, Amanda's Department Digital Services, collaboration on campus begins with an idea, knowledge-based and budget, whereas Pamela's department looks at collaboration on campus with subject librarians and using the website to request materials based on the needs of faculty, staff, and students. When it comes to promotion on campus and in the community, these departments do it a little differently. 
The same premise stays the same in terms of promoting the library services of TWU. For Amanda, this looks different than for Pamela. For Amanda, it's more of class presentations, whereas for Pamela, it is more of a physical newsletter that's promoted through the website. And this is an opportunity to share and to promote. For Amanda, it's more of a word of mouth that the promotion of library services are done on campus and within the community. Now, when it comes to promoting open educational resources or OER and predatory publishers, learning about that, these departments handle that in a different way. For Amanda's department, in terms of promoting OER, this is a second initiative of Texas Women's University's Black Huey Library, as well as her department. And in terms of Pamela's department, in promoting OER, this is done through the TW Library website. Now, when it comes to predatory publishers, both Amanda and Pamela's views on this is similar in terms of finding resources that will help faculty, students, and staff to avoid predatory publishers. In Pamela's department, this is done through subscription agents who are hired to specifically find resources that are credible. This concludes the summary of my findings for project number two. I hope you enjoyed it.